Hey guys, how here with the Logitech Z600. So these are Bluetooth speakers meant for the PC. And so uh, I just recently got these. As you can see, the box, they come in a very unusual shape. It's very unique for Logitech to bring out such a uh, unique design. So what it says, it's beautiful, effortless and wireless. So I'm just gonna open that. As you can see. Okay, so what we open there is a string. I think you have to pull it. Yeah. There we go. It's a very strange case, I guess. And as you can see, it presents you two of the speakers. That, that one out. As you can see, there's a, the wire. These are supposedly wireless, but you can also be used in a wired mode. Um, and that's pretty much it for the box. Boxes. Okay, so we have the two speakers, and let's just open the box to see what's inside. Um, there's this, okay. So the first thing I see is a manual, so a setup guide, the Z600 Bluetooth setup. Um, there's a USB dongle for the Bluetooth connectivity. So uh, the, these speakers can connect up to three Bluetooth devices simultaneously and can connect up to eight devices all together. So we've got an AUX cable for cable you know, insets for devices that don't have Bluetooth. Um, here's the charging block. I think there's adapters, so charging adapters. So, uh, American and Australian. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that in. There we go. Box into place. Box back in. And yeah. Okay, what else does it come with? So underneath, underneath doesn't seem to have anything. So we'll just put that away. So for connecting the speaker with, to the power block, I'm just gonna remove this. There's a very unique um, way of installing it, so if I can get this off, there we go. So, as you can see, there's this weird block type of thing, and both speakers come with this strange blockish type of. I'm not sure what to call it, but yeah, it's strange. So, what happens is there's a hole on this side. And there's the plug in this side. So what you do is you attach both them together. So I'm just gonna peel the sticker off first. Stickers quite comfortable to peel actually. And as you can see, they're actually using flat cables. Just so they don't tangle, like many of the earphones you see these days. So you've got this brick, and you've got this other thing. So this plug goes into that hole. So you slide it in. So I'm going to attempt to make it clean, clean slide. The key, that wasn't clean at all. Just give me a moment. There we go. So that is meant to make that shape. So you've got the two speakers connected. So to connect these into the power brick, you just attach this and there you go. You've got this special dongle of some sort. And pretty much at the back, as you can see, there's the power button, Bluetooth button. These are two ports, one for USB and one for the AUX cable, which they provide for you. And at the top, you can see there's a volume rocker. So there's no actual volume button, but to, to increase the volume or to decrease, you use this passive sensitive top. So to rotate, it's kind of like the iPod, the iPod Classic, where you like move it up around. Uh, you do a 360 degree motion, actually. And for the top of the other one, as you can see, the back is plain. And the top, there's a Logitech logo. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's engraved there. 
And pretty much that is my unboxing of the Logitech Z600. And I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and comment down below. And I'll hopefully have a review out after this. Peace, guys.